In this video I'm going to look at a friction question involving an object on an inclined surface. And the question I'm going to work through is where we have an object with a mass of m kilograms on a rough surface which has an incline of theta degrees from the ground. Now we're told that the object is just at the point of slipping down the surface and that we need to find an equation for the coefficient of friction. So as always we'll start with a diagram. So here is our object on the inclined surface and we know that there's going to be a weight associated with this so gravity pulling down on the object giving it a, um, a weight and that equals mg. We also know that there'll be a reaction force so this is the surface pushing back up on the object and we'll also have friction holding the object in place so just before it's going to slip all of these forces should balance because the object is stationary, it's just at the point where it's going to slip down the surface. Now I'm just going to move these arrows down to the surface because it makes it a little bit easier to think about the forces. So the first thing we're going to do is resolve the forces for the weight and we're going to do this with a triangle that looks like this um, and we're going to think about the how the weight is counteracting the reaction force and also how the weight is counteracting the friction. And we're going to use these axes here. So we're going to say anything, any forces in this direction are x forces, and any forces in this direction are y forces. And we're going to resolve the weight into two separate forces. So we know that theta is there, and also this angle will be the same. So because theta is here, and, and because of uh, geometry, we can work out that actually this is also theta. Not going to go into that right now. Okay, so the weight component in the y direction equals w cos theta. So we can work that out from trigonometry. And we can also write that as uh, mg cos theta. So just replace it, replacing weight with mg. And then the weight in the x direction is w sine theta. And we can write that as mg sine theta. OK, so now we can get rid of that triangle and the weight because we've now got it as these two separate components. And I'm just going to move the Wx over to here. And now we can see that Wx is balancing out the friction and Wy is balancing out the reaction force. And so because the object is stationary, the, the friction, the magnitude of this will be the same as Wx. So friction F will also equal mg sine theta and the reaction force will equal mg cos theta because the magnitude of this is the same as the magnitude of wy so the weight that's the, the component of the weight that's pressing down onto the surface now we know that the coefficient of friction equals f over r and instead of writing f and r we can write in the values for these based on mg and theta and then m and g will cancel because it's on the top line and the bottom line and also sine theta divided by cos theta equals tan theta so we've simplified this now and we've answered the question because we've now got an equation that gives us the value of the coefficient of friction coefficient of friction based on the parameters that we had so the coefficient of friction mu equals tan theta so that's been a video about an object on an inclined surface.